Hello and welcome to the Marine Channel. We're down here at the Palmer Boat Show. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know that my colleague uh, David did a walkthrough on this boat at the Dusseldorf Show, the Pearl 72. Well, we are lucky enough today to show you its little brother, the Pearl 62. Um, and I want to show you this because it is a pretty unique boat because for a boat of 62 feet, it's the only one that gives you four cabins. So anyway, let's hop aboard. A little bit about Pearl. Um, the hull design and the top size designed by someone called Bill Dixon and the interior is done by Kelly Hoppen, which you'll know about, I'm sure, the name. Um, but just while we're here looking at the bathing platform, this is a, a high-low platform and there are two options at the back end here. We can either have a tender garage that will take a, a jet ski and a sea doo and then you can put your your tender here, I think you can get up to about a 345 on here. Um, or you can have this as a crew cabin. But to be honest, Pearl is saying most people go for this as a, as a garage for all their water toys. Okay, so let's get aboard properly. So, cockpit at the back here, big U-shaped seating. Good protection here from the beating sun that we've got down here in Palmer. And then over here, we've got our sort of bar area, really. And just here is where electrically controlled, the glass panel will come up and divide you from the kitchen. So in this configuration at the moment, it's really sort of open to the cockpit and serving drinks and all that. One of the things about Pearl that's really impressed me is the quality of all these sort of fixtures and fittings and all the stainless steel, it's really, beautifully done. A uh, few choices of engines here, all Volvo Penta IPS. This one's got the most powerful, which is the uh, 1200s. Gives this boat a top speed of about 31 knots, cruising about 24. And uh, of course, if you do displacement speeds at about 10 knots, you've got a terrific range, something like 500 miles. If you're pushing on, yeah, around 250 is the full range, but uh, again, depends on load, depends on sea conditions and all of that. So let's step up into the cockpit. So as I said, this boat's interior design is by Kelly Hoppen, and what Pearly actually op offer is a choice of different interiors. This is the darker interior. They also do a lighter one, which is kind of a bit more Scandinavian themed. They do one which is, I've not seen, but it's kind of defined as the luxury which I think is a little bit more kind of decadent. But those are three options and there's no difference in price. So you really can personalize and make the boat as you want. Quite a big dining area over here. And then of course the galley is well appointed. Melee hob and oven. And then a very generously stocked fridge. And beneath that, our freezer compartment there. I'll just show you while I'm here actually, I'll just show you that divider that I spoke about. So switch gear up here, press the button, come back, that lifts up, and then that panel will rise up and divide it. There we go, and actually quite swiftly as well. Put that one up. And there we are, we are now enclosed. And with the aircon on, that's going to make it uh, chill out even more. Okay, uh, up just a tiny step into this beautiful lounge area. And you can see big U-shaped sofas, softer uh, stool here with a bit of storage underneath. And then a helm position over to the starboard side. Just get the view through there. Big multi-function displays, twin helm seats. Let's say IPS, Volvo Penta IPS on this, so very easy boat to maneuver. Bow thruster still there. And a lovely view out over. You can see just above, we've got the blind shucks. It's a particularly warm day, but those pull back and again, we'll add lots and lots of light into this uh, main saloon area. Okay, let's go down below and these lovely wide carpeted steps. Feels very kind of snugly and hospitable down here. We've got this lovely lobby area. So if I just stand back from whence we've come, 
and then effectively what we've got is identical kind of sided twin berth cabins. So let's go down here to the port side. And there's our uh, twin berth cabin. Now you'll notice rather cleverly that this table, this sort of bedside table, is actually a gap here. And that's because what you can do is you can push these beds together and make it into a big double. So clever design. Big windows, lovely lighting, little TV ahead of that berth. And then what you've got is access here to what also doubles up as your day heads. So really good size, actually. Big rainfall shower up there. Sink, all the bits and pieces. And I do love, it's all every different taste, but I do love the detailing on the interior here. Step back out into our lobby area. And then on our starboard side, we've got pretty much the same setup. Twin beds that can be pushed together. TV screen up here on the wall. And the only difference being that um, you haven't got access to your own heads, but it's literally just, just across the corridor there. You can see the door is open. And you're sorted. Step forward into our VIP. So this is not the master, this is the guest cabin. And it's absolutely lovely in here. Feels really wide, roomy, great headroom. A couple of skylights up the top. And again, what's really impressive is the use of this sort of ambient lighting. The way it's sort of hidden away behind these panels means they're this sort of soft light all the time. And all the fabrics and all, uh, Kelly Hoppen, I mean, she's, she's bound to get it right, I know. But it works really, really beautifully. Lovely. And then this one has got its own heads. So just through here, getting a good size shower sink, all the bits and pieces, there you go. So that's three cabins that we've seen, but I did mention that there are four. So let's go back up here into the saloon and then work our way back because access to the master cabin is down its own private staircase. So let's make our way down here. Definitely hold on to the handrail. The first thing that strikes you is you kind of have this little lobby area where they've got a few bits of sculpture. <laughs> and here we are, full beam, master suite. And the aircon is working very, very hard and doing its magic because this room feels absolutely gorgeous. Again, just all these little touches in terms of design all this wood panelling. Now, again, if you choose one of the different options on the interior, this colour palette will change, but effectively the design remains consistent. Over here, for example, if you lift this substantial lid up, you've got your vanity mirror and uh, area for jewellery and bits and pieces. Put that back down, and you can pop your laptop on there and do some work. You can see here all your different zones for your climate control. So depending on your taste, you can be as warm or as cool as you like. And then of course we have our, our ensuite. And uh, this is a very large ensuite, I have to say. Just step in there. Lots of natural light here. Lots of mirrors. Nice little bit of pearl branding there. And then swing round to our, well, it's a double really, isn't it? Our enormous shower. Very nice, so a private suite really for the owners. Private access, lovely quiet location, and even some space there to have breakfast or an evening drink, if you so wish. I've got to see if I can open this. Can I open this? This is where it all goes horribly wrong. No, I'm not sure what's in there actually. Oh, probably the stairs. Anyway. We'll make our way back upstairs. 
because I haven't shown you the flybridge and the flybridge on this again is really impressive for a 62 footer so back out into the cockpit around to left hand side and up we go here we are so let's go forward first of all so a big sunbathing area we'll take the infill cushion out that's another u-shape lovely view down over the bow and here's where the business happens again everything from down below mirrored up here joystick drive for the IPS big multi-function displays and what I love is look at this look at this uh, width of these uh, supports for the t-top proper super yacht kind of size isn't it and then above us we've got this big hard top which has got this uh, retractable fabric portion in the middle which you can imagine when that's actually pulled back you have got a very open top experience starboard side here so a little look under here so big fridge or cooler for your drinks and then under here and i've got to say everything is really substantially made you've got your griddle and your sink and then underneath we've got our fridge and ice maker so a fully equipped wet bar and then swing around a little bit further and we've got this lovely lovely lounging area so a big sun pad facing aft little u-shape here as well and when you get to the back of the boat and you look forward on the flybridge you really do get an idea of how big this space is remember this is a 62 foot boat so we've got a garage or a crew cabin depending what you want we've got four cabins and we've got this enormous flybridge very very good we're going to finish up on the bow because we haven't been out there yet and it's a lovely area so i want to show it to you access obviously either side we've got the starboard side very very high handrails here and they're slightly oval which is just one of those sort of quality details that you don't always get on a boat of this length or price and here we are another little sanctuary away from the madding crowd so you've got this bimini here on the carbon fiber poles lovely lounging area table that folds and what a view out view out of palma nice so there you go the pearl 62 i think it's hardly fair to call it the little brother of the 72 i know it's smaller but it's a pretty substantial boat and i think what they fitted in is incredible because it never feels cramped so anyway hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough thank you very much for joining us here at the marine channel if you've liked it give us a like give us a share make a comment but most importantly do please come back better still subscribe and we'll let you know every time we release a new video so from me and the team here at the marine channel it's thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye